Welcome, Warriors, back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. This is November 3rd, 2022. I'm in the sun right now, but give it a couple minutes and I'll be out of the sun as uh, all the cars are driving by. Um, thank you all for the uh, subscriptions, comments, likes, donations. You guys are wonderful. Uh, we are doing well, getting the word out. I hope it continues and hope you guys enjoying what we're doing. The uh, main idea is to try to get the word out so that men become a little more enlightened, uh, an awakening, as one person called it. We'll talk about that in probably another video at some point. I have about 20 of them I want to kind of do, 20, 25 videos, so we'll catch up a little bit. A lot of great comments, ideas you guys have today. I'm going to focus on one that Leo had, so thank you, Leo. Shout out to you, my friend. And uh, I think he mentioned the fact that women will have trouble uh, establishing eye contact and maintaining eye contact with you. So let's go ahead and kind of look at that because I think it's a wonderful uh, point that Leo makes. So kind of let's delve into this a little bit. So we talk about um, communication and we're talking about something like seam retention. We're talking about a, you know having a normal type of kind of energy level a person has. So, you know, most people have energy levels where they uh, can communicate and people can talk and they see each other and so they talk and you have what the old sender, receiver, and the uh, message and channel, all those things that we talk in regular communication. And so we always talk about something that talks about the idea of a noise and noise is something that breaks up communication. And it breaks up communication in the sense that you can either have a physical noise in which... Uh, you know, you have some like a plane flying overhead or train going, or you can have a psychological noise of something that's blocking you of thoughts or things you're thinking about. So normal conversation we have, especially with eye contact, is such that people tend to, you know, kind of look at each other, turn away for a few minutes, look back, gather their thoughts, continue doing that, and maintain eye contact. Now, uh, for the most part, because men are very physically oriented as far as what they look at and visually they don't really establish a lot of eye contact as much as females especially when both males and females are younger uh, but i think that what ends up happening is that as time goes on males become better when it comes to eye contact and looking at you straight in the eye and especially as your confidence starts to grow a little bit now when we talk about uh this, this whole idea of energy we're talking about, as you look at a person, 90% of their energy, you can see in their emotions and things come through the eyes. And so as the eyes are really kind of focusing on something, as you're looking at people, you're transmitting all your, your energy. I go back to watch another one of those Dracula movies last night, and once again, this is from the 1960s, and they're talking about, again, the hypnotic type of state that Dracula has. Well. Hypnotic uh, is kind of a strange type of word. Yes, it is hypnotic in some ways, but really what it is is the energy. The energy makes the person kind of stare. And obviously, Dracula, a person who's been around a hundred and you know some years, in theory, has a lot in theory, once again, and I'm kind of half joking, but I'm not half joking about this too, is that they have a lot of semen retention. Because obviously, they're not going around draining themselves because, you know, they've been, you know, in a casket for a long time. And so in theory, this person has a lot of power for many reasons, right? Now we look at it from the outside viewpoint. I tend to look at it from more of the spirit and the energy level. And uh, the figure, the way it's been created and characterized, has a lot of power. And the power comes from the energy. And so the women look in Dracula's eyes and they get they hypnotized because they stare. And they just can't get away from the amount of energy that you feel. Well, the same principle actually happens with seam retention. And I saw it yesterday, last couple of days, yesterday especially. Um, I'm sitting there going to an uh, auto mechanic. And uh, the woman who's second is just staring. It's almost like intensely staring, figuring out, trying to figure out what she's looking at. Now, in the past, I would say, man, you know, I must be not looking too good of late, right? But the thing is, what she's staring at is the energy. And some kind of aura or energy is coming out that I can't really tell because I can't see it, but they could tell. And so 
after a while, however, if you start looking at them, they they just cannot maintain eye contact. It's too strong of a force. And I think this is what Leo's talking about when he says something, and I got to take a look at this. It might be hard to uh, for women to maintain eye contact, and that's true. Because a lot of women tend to be very, um, you know, they can establish eye contact, but they can't handle the power of your of your energy, and especially if you're at full at full go, if you're at full strength, and you're retaining, and the stronger you get, the harder it will be. Now, a lot of women will become uh, in their eyes. Now we're talking about their eyes here. We're talking about the energy that they have. We look at this, and they become in many ways submissive. Now I'm not saying submissive in a bad way. I mean they become submissive. It's almost like they defer. And they know in, in what they're thinking subconsciously, they know they see a man in front of them. They don't see a simp. They see a man in front of them because they can gauge that. Women are very good at gauging it. I think it goes back to the old days of the um, trying to survive. You know, the, the caveman, cavewoman type of thing where they're trying to survive. And so they have to look at things and be observant for their own survival. And so when they see a man who has that level of energy, well, of course they're going to be attractive. They're going to be attracted to no end, to the fact that they may they will stare and try to figure out, you know, what is it about this person that is so appealing? And that's what you see. But now once you start establishing your eye contact, they will have trouble maintaining it because it's almost like a power force. Now, they'll either have one or two types of reactions I've seen. One is that... They just become like a deer in the headlights. And I've seen that happen where a woman is sitting right in front of me and they just can't say anything. And just, it, it's, it's floored me. It's just floored me. Over the last couple of years, seeing that happen on multiple occasions just just floors me. It's it never happened in 50 some, 57 years before that. So uh, it's amazing to me. So that's why I know that this is part of retention. It's, this is the part of it that, that's different because that's the main thing that's changed. Yes, I've supplemented that by diet and uh, cold showers, all that, and fasting, things like that. But that's not the main thing. What I'm doing is keeping my energy, and that's something that most men don't have anymore. They don't keep their energy. And as a result of that, there's very few and hard to find. Now, if you were back in the 40s and 50s and 60s, maybe that would be different, and you wouldn't get that kind of stare because it's something that is not, it was, it was more common. But still, it's something that is very powerful. And that's where I think the whole idea of the myth of the vampire comes in, where the vampire is very strong because they're they're looking at that idea of you know strength and dominance, and a woman can feel that dominance when they see you, and they see that. Now, no matter what you say, they feel the dominance, and they feel like you're going to take that person over and you're in control. And this is what a lot of a lot of women will always say that they, they, they really like. They like that idea of security and feeling that somebody is going to be in charge. Uh, I have not met a lot of females with feminine energy who really want to be in charge of things. And if they have to, it's very stressful and it's not an easy situation. So, uh, and then once again, maybe I'm old fashioned, but that's kind of how I see things. And uh, I kind of see things going through, and I see this all the time. So it's not something with young, with older women or just my generation. I see this with a lot of people, a lot of women, younger people, women, who are looking for some strong male. And they can't find it because a lot of males are kind of losing their energy. And they're not out there really trying to be masculine and, and, and have those types of um, interactions. And they really, and a lot of the men, I don't blame the men either in many cases because they haven't learned it. We have a society of very few families, very few uh, male role models for for some of these uh, young males. And it's very difficult to learn that. Uh, it took me a long time to learn it as well. So I'm the last person to judge anybody. I'm just kind of saying that this is what I what I see and hear and talking to young females and uh, in middle, middle-aged females and older females, the same type of thing. It's the same principle. The idea is, is that they're looking for that strong male and they want somebody that's going to actually go ahead and and really kind of be that dominant force in their life. And so, as you see this, 
you realize that their eye contact is going to directly come to a person they sense that's like this. Now, they may not be able to handle it, and some women who are a little less aggressive or assertive may you know, put their, their, their eyes down, just like as someone who's shy, whether it's male or female. They're shy, they're gonna, they're gonna put their eyes down, they may not maintain eye contact for a long period of time. And in fact, that's normally what we do in our society anyway. But with this super strength you have, you're gonna go ahead and be so overwhelming as Leo's mentioning, it's, it's very, very hard for a woman to maintain that eye contact. And in fact, she may smile, giggle. You know, I see see a lot of reactions. So going back to what we're talking about, once you see that stare and you're staring, you're looking back at them and they're staring at you, well, you're going to have a person either continue to stare until she says something and you just have to kind of just sit there and look at it. Or what's going to happen is that the person is going to kind of look away and not be able to maintain eye contact. Or they're going to do something like giggle or depending on the age and how they handle these situations, they'll have a little different response. But all these responses, warriors, are really acknowledgments that you're a man. The giggle, the uh, you know, staring, um, all these type of things indicate that you are becoming a true masculine male. And I think that's something that we need a lot more of in our society and something that's missing. And when that happens, society collapses, worlds collapse, you have no protection, no uh, you know, uh, providing for families, all those type of things go away because males are not in their roles they should be or the males are not there anymore to protect. And that's when you lose a lot of things in society. I don't care how you're talking, you can portray women in books and magazines and comic books and all the ways you want, but they're just not as strong as males. And there's nothing that the, these books can do about it. I mean, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> when you see it, it just looks it looks it looks very strange. So no matter what they're doing to kind of push it and then push it, it's not gonna it's not gonna work because people see that and they understand that. And they've experienced that through their life. And so the beta males may want to actually kind of defer to it and uh, you know, kind of be in that type of mode, but 90% of the women I've met do not like that mode whatsoever. And if they do, even in relationships where they feel like they don't want males, they're still going to find that other other person that's going to be, once again, a dominant person. So they need to have that in any kind of relationship you have. And I think that's something that you have to kind of think about as well. But going back to what Leo talked about, you're going to have people who are going to acknowledge you in one way or the other. Like I said yesterday, I had this happen several times one at the auto mechanic place and it's just a woman just like staring intensely and it's like you know it's like she's never seen anything like this before and my guess would be and she was probably in her 40s it, chances are she probably hasn't guys there's so many people 99% of the people in the world are still releasing energy like crazy and not really realizing it and the men are becoming less and less powerful as time goes on and so this becomes a really a real problem. And so as a result of that, then you see a lot of men who are not going to be very strong. They're going to be simps. They're going to kind of be doing anything that people want. And they're not going to be able to kind of get along and really kind of solve problems and protect and try to provide and those type of things and lead people. Um, you also got people who are going, and I've seen this yesterday too, I saw people giggle. Now, I think younger females tend to giggle more because they just don't have the maturity as older females do. And so you're gonna see that result when they look at how much you know they react to that type of energy. You may see have some of them laugh. You may see some of them kind of look away, and look down. Oh, they will give you those Google eye looks, which I saw several times yesterday too. So when you see this, it's all an indication. Now, what you do with this, I go back to the, the point we we're making before. Guys, what you do with this is very important. I look at this, and the only reason I'm kind of saying this and even talking about this, because normally I wouldn't, it's more of a case of just the um, showing it on a video to know that this is still very powerful. And this is something that you should be aware of because you're going to see it around you. You're going to see a lot more of the female attention. And once again, that's a good or a bad thing, depending on you and how you react to it. 
I think certainly you're not going to use sumer attention to be one of those players out there and just continue to, you know, take advantage of young ladies and those type of things. You're going to need to kind of focus and get your ideas together to say, what am I really using this for? And you should be using it for all the goals and everything else you're doing. You shouldn't be using it just for attraction. And I think this is an important type of thing to, to look at. You shouldn't just be using it for attraction. Just to get, you know, if you're looking for that one girl, that's one thing. But if you're looking for all kinds of girls and all kinds of stuff like that, you're leading yourself down the wrong hole because eventually you're going to start releasing again with all that type of stuff going around. And in my mind, you know, I'm, I'm, it's really more flattering than anything else, I guess, because I never had that for many years. And of course, I would never, you know, kind of take advantage of any of that type of stuff. But I like to indicate it because it does indicate what how powerful this is and why it's important to keep your energy as much and as long as you can as time goes on but again you're going to get some strange eye looks you're going to look people are going to look at you differently than they have before and in many ways you may not believe it because you hadn't had that kind of look you know towards you for you know maybe ever and so you have to kind of think to yourself man am i getting more attractive well, you are getting more attractive, my friends, and that's because of the retention. So, all right, so Leo, shout out to you, my friend. God bless you. God bless all you guys. Have a great day, and I hope some of this information is helping. There are a lot of topics that people want to talk about with when it comes to female attraction, things like that. I think it's an important topic to talk about. I know that you shouldn't really be concentrated on it. It's a very tempting type of thing because, obviously, if you have high level of energy, uh, it becomes a real tempting type of thing if you don't watch it. But you also want to be aware of the things around you. And the look that females give you can be very tempting. It is a seductive look or like the Google eye look, the big eye look, uh, how we're going to call it, or come, come here type of look. Those type of things are things that it's very hard to draw away from. And so you have to be strong to be able to do that. But remember, keep your goals, keep your uh, purpose, things you're doing. And you're going to keep on the same track. And if you fall off the track, just keep going back and keep doing it again. All right, my friends. God bless you guys. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon. Until next time, every day is a new day to a wise warrior. Battle on, my friends. Battle on.